Hey guys and welcome to another unboxing video. As you can see now if you followed my other videos day by day I'm getting my parts and I'm so excited about this one really. Um, you can see it's for the Ryzen chipset. So I am looking into building a gaming set for the Ryzen. It's the ASRock Fatality Gaming. It's an X370 um, chipset gaming K4. So this is for the like I said for the new Ryzen chip uh, AM4 socket. It's the X370 chipset, so that is the highest chipset that you can get for them. Why I got this is, you never know in the future when you might want to do, as you can see, uh, um, crossfire. Because the 350 boards, they don't do crossfire, so it's something to look into. I think this was like uh, 200 Rand more than the other board, motherboard, so it's better to get this one just for, for future proofing. So as I said, it's the ASRock one. Just want to turn it over for you guys to actually see here at the back. I'm going to take my camera and just scroll over the stuff. Then you can actually see what we've got. We've got the Creative Sound Blaster Cinema 3, the RGB LED, Intel LAN, so it's got gigabit LAN, PCI steel slots, so it's got steel in those slots, um, the dual M2 for SSD. So you can actually put in those um, SSD cards. It looks like memory chips extremely fast don't have the money for that so hopefully somewhere in the future for the price of the board i'm a bit disappointed in this as you can see you do get a slot basically for this but if you read there it's very small wi-fi model module is not included so you will have to buy an extra one of this i checked on ebay and those it's about 120 rand so i don't know why they didn't just include it in the board it's not that much for them then over here we've got just basically super alloy, gaming armor, um, SLA HB bridge, dual USB 3.1, so it's also got the type C connector there that um, Apple introduced a while ago. Then something that I couldn't find on the internet and I am quite happy to see this. If you look at the integrated AMD Radeon graphics. Currently my budget isn't allowing me to buy a graphics card which is so sad, I have to wait a month. But at least this means I will be able to get my PC up and running. So they will also see the other stuff that this board can do. Something to note as well. Um, AMD, I am going to get myself a Radeon card. So basically the thing is, um, they've got a new chipset, it's Vega. So it's going to be released in the middle of April. So I'm quite excited about that. That's why I'm not too worried about getting a graphics card now. Because when that one comes in, I might actually be getting it a lot cheaper than what it currently is. Or I might even be getting the new architecture. So we will see in a month's time what will happen. But I'll be posting a video of that on my channel like always. So let's just take this out. So basically it's just some paperwork, here will be the back plate that you will be able to put into your PC. I've got the cards, so let's just take everything out then, at least you can see what connectors you actually got. So over here, let's see, we've got these. So there you can see it's SLI HB Bridge 2S card. Not too sure what that is about. It's just the HB Bridge. So I think that will be for your um, you put your two graphics cards in there. But I'm not too sure if you guys know a bit more because it's been a while since I built a gaming PC. Just let me know. Then here's another few cables here. Also just to like the previous ones for the SATA drives. It's very small, let me put there, very small screw. <laughs> Won't be taking that out of the case just yet. Another one of those small screws. It's really small, I wonder where those come into. Then you've just got basically your driver CD, ASRock, 
powered, so I take it that's just a sticker to put on your case. And that's basically it. Booklet, booklet. So let's get to the good part. And there you guys can see how it actually looks like. Just gonna scroll over Ryzen Chip Series. <laughs> I like this, it looks like it's totally badass. And if you know AMD, it's red and black. And if you can remember my unboxing of my case over there, you can see it's fitting into my color scheme magnificently. So there you go. So just wanna show you, just be careful here, the back. So basically there you can see the back, a lot of USB slots. So we will be putting this on momentarily and hopefully soon you will be able to see my video of the complete build. Over there you can see where you can put your Wi-Fi module in. It's just so sad that it doesn't have that. So over there, that extra, you know, that memory yeah, hard drive that you saw and over there will be the other one. So yeah, I'm quite excited to get this built. So um, until the next one, guys, cheers.